world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are talking Joseph Rogers of Sheffield. Okay, so this was made in England. Um, I'm not going to go through all the history on this again now. Um, maybe in a later video at some stage I'll do all of the ones I have together. But watch one of my older ones if you want to see a bit more of the history on these guys. Okay, um, I don't know if that's a code, 90SO, and then in here we got our little piece of paper with history and things and whatnot on there. Let's get to the knife. That's why we are all here. And here we go. A beautiful little Joseph Rogers pen knife. Okay. Um... Before we continue, this is a very sentimental knife for me. Okay, I have most likely said this in previous videos also. Um, if you live in South Africa, either your father, if he's old enough, uh, or your grandfather, somebody carried the Joseph Rogers knife. That used to be like the benchmark of pocket knifeness here in South Africa. Okay, now 100 years ago, these things were made to a higher standard than they are today. Like I said, I'm not going to go into history and who bought what and when it was bought and who gave who whatever trademarks and things. Um, check one of my older videos. <clears throat> the only thing I want to say is my two grandfathers. The one was an old Scottish guy and he carried a lot of random knives. That Untra knife I showed you, um, uh, unnamed knife I showed you previously. And then he always had a Joseph Rogers, the two-bladed one, in his pocket. The grandfather on my father's side, um, he actually carried a American-made queen trapper. Okay, and he carried that thing forever. But before that, he also used to carry a Joseph Rogers pocket knife. Okay, now this one I got from the Sharp Edge. Okay, um, and I am extremely thankful for this knife. I love places like the Sharp Edge. Um, we can you can get hold of your more modern knives. I, not necessarily always easily, but there's more places that can help you with it. Sharp Edge is cool because they have things like this that you cannot normally find at most places. Okay. Um, not that these are rare or difficult to find. It's just it's difficult to find here with us. Okay. Anyway, so I got this one there. And then look at it. It's the only thing they say is laminated wood. But it's beautiful wood. We have these beautiful brass pins. We have brass liners. Stainless steel back spring. We have gapping over there. And then also where the bolsters meet the wood, there's some gapping. But nothing horrible. Beautiful nickel silver. You can see that the grinds at the back where they shaped the wood is not as nice as it could have been. So like I said, 100 years ago, these things were made completely different. But, nice walk and talk on this guy. And I love the way that the blade is cantered or, I don't know, leans towards one side. Okay, so that's beautiful. And I opted for the clip point bladed one because I think that looks wonderful. And then on the tang... It says Roger Stainless, uh, I think Sheffield. I cannot really see that. So if you can see that, yeah, Stainless Sheffield Rogers. And then we have the star and the cross. Sorry, this thing is shiny, so it's quite a fingerprint magnet. <gasps> Very, very mirror shiny. Okay. Um, so I'm very glad to have gotten this one. Okay. I've wanted one of these for a very long time. I opted for the single bladed one because, yeah, two blades. The problem that I have with two bladed knives is as soon as you have a second blade, then you're not going to feel the ergonomics the way it's intended because you're going to be touching the second blade. Okay. Now, it's a very small little handle, but... Because you have that piece over there, you can quite easily fit in all four fingers over there without being on the blade. 
Now, I'm not sure if you're muscling through wood or something, that's fine. You're normally going to hold it like this, and that gives you a nice point of reference while holding this beautiful little knife. Okay, quite a thin piece of stock. Um, it's not crowned, but you can... There's no hard corners. Okay, everything feels nice. Everything is smooth. Even where I said we have these bad transitions, it doesn't feel bad. It feels great in hand. This is a wonderful little pocket knife. Okay, so I love this thing. And again, um, sharp edge, fantastic. If you're here in South Africa, go look up the sharp edge. And then they have lots of knives. They even have some customs on their site. Okay. Didn't come with a lot of gunk in here, but it wasn't super clean. And then there was something I wanted to show you over there. I don't know if that's... Uh, you cannot see in there, but there, right at the top. Might be a spot of gunk or maybe a spot of rust, I don't know. Do you see the gap over there? You can actually catch a nail in there. But again, as I said, overall... This thing is quite nice. Okay, they are quite pricey for a traditional pocket knife. But just the sentimental value of having one of these. Oh, wait, that's too far. I wanted you to. Yeah, that. That's super solid. Okay, so I'm going to be loving this thing and carrying it for a while. We'll do a video on it again at a later stage. I'm happy. Okay, now, today's the first day. Not It's not the first day of my holiday. Today, um, work stopped. So from tomorrow will be my holiday. Um, I have a few building projects that we're going to do. So you will come along for the ride, unfortunately. And then we're going to be buying things the whole time because it is... Christmas holidays, that's the tree, Ta -da. and then, yeah, this is going to be fun, we're going to be very busy, and then later on, towards the end of the year, we're going to go to the coast, so you will hopefully get a few shots of a fat mermaid swimming around there, it can be either me or my wife, I suppose, don't tell her I said that, um, yes, that's me, Joseph Rogers, cool, Christmas, cool. You all stay cool. Yeah, I think that's me. Maybe I'm going to show you how I'm brying. I don't know if I'm... No, I'm not going to do that. All of you, have a wonderful day. Stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye.